Hi everybody, Stacy at Scrap Mania, and I wanted to show you um, kind of an easy gift idea. So this is one of our Snap photo albums. It comes with lots of different page inserts um, included with it. Um, there's different color bindings. You can also decorate the front and you can also decorate the back if you'd like. Um, like I said, the different bindings, there are red and yellow, blue, this one's black. Lots of options um, for binding. What I like about this album is it includes eight snap pages, which are pages like this, photo inserts. And then it also includes, and there's different ones, it includes three craft dividers, which are these here. And then it also includes um, 10 pocket pages, oh, which are those that I showed you. So it includes eight snap pages, which actually, let me go back, because I think the eight snap pages are pages like this, um, and there's some that are printed, um, some that are just lined, um, and they coordinate with the color of your spine. So like, um, I grabbed the black spine book, so my pages are black and white, but I believe like the pink spine book would have like pink inserts, I do believe. Um, but you get all sorts of stuff. So you get regular paper pages, cardstock, you get your divider pages, and then you also get your pocket pages. So a mixture of things. And hopefully, this is a surprise gift. I'm hoping that the person that it's going to is not watching this video. I don't believe that she does. But I guess if so, she'll be, she'll find out a little sooner than expected. If this person's not watching the video and you happen to know her, please don't tell her that this is coming. This is a total surprise. Um, and I think this is nice just to give somebody a surprise like this. Um, so this is uh, going to somebody in Jessup, Iowa. And um, I've used our Jessup paper and our stickers. Um, the way I'm keeping this a surprise, uh, keeping this a surprise is I went to her Facebook account and her daughter's Facebook account and I just stole pictures off of her page. So um, you can save them and I did make them a little bit smaller just because you never know um, what kind of quality you're going to get when you're stealing somebody else's photo since it's not an original. So I made them just a little bit smaller um, just to make sure that they weren't fuzzy at all. So. The bad part about it being a surprise like this is I have no clue um, what to do for any kind of journaling or anything. So like I would assume looking at this photo that that is like homecoming, but I don't know. So that could be a dress for church or something. So I can't put anything on there. So let me show you what I did. I kind of mixed a variety of all of these pages and I'm still working on it. It's not done. Um, I just started it yesterday. And as you can see, I've got quite a bit done in just a day and a half, and I'm actually at work, and so I haven't been working on it full time. I've just kind of been doing it um, as I've been able to. But um, so, and I'm not sure about the order, so these might get changed around. But so this is archery page. We do have lots of archery paper. Um, archery is getting pretty popular in the area, and this first page is on one of the chipboard um, craft dividers. So it's nice and sturdy. I covered it with paper and all I did was I traced the paper. I traced this outline on the paper and then I cut it out um, with some scissors. I do ink all of my edges on everything. So um, all of my papers, all of my stickers, anything that I use, um, I take, this is my favorite dauber to ink with and then I just take an ink and um, Gina K is my favorite to ink with. This is the uh, premium uh, black onyx ink. Sometimes I use gray, sometimes I use brown, but I've been using black lately. So that's all. But, and when you're inking something, let me find a scrap or something. Let's see. So like this is a, just a piece of white paper and I just go around the edge and see how that just adds a lot to it. And it's really easy, it's really quick, it doesn't take very long. But look at the difference in this edge and this edge over here. Super quick, it doesn't, it, I don't even think it's that noticeable when you look at it, but when I don't ink, I just don't like the look of it as well. So, and it doesn't take long at all. Okay, so uh, 
archery. I did leave some spots blank so that hopefully she can do some journaling because she knows where this event was or how, um, how they scored, things like that. So she can do a little bit of journaling once she gets it. So I still have to do the back side of that page. Um, this page here are some of those uh, page inserts like these. So you've got your craft dividers, you've got your page inserts. I'm using some washi tape for embellishments. I'm using stickers. Um, here's some more washi tape. This background here is one of these like clear acetate sheets. So I just thought that would be a nice background. Some senior pictures. Here are those pocket pages that are included. And this one is one full sheet. So it is um, like six by eight size. And I've just kind of made my own embellishments on here. Um, but there are some with dividers in them that I use later. We've got school papers. Um, Jessup is about an hour from Cedar Rapids, but we have lots of other schools too. We don't just have Cedar Rapids schools just because we are in Cedar Rapids. Um, and if we don't have your school, we can probably get it for you. Um, as long as it's something that, um, if I don't think it's going to sell for us, um, or sell enough to be profitable, um, as long as you order paper in quantities of 25 and that you do save 20%, um, or you can order embellishments in quantities of 6 or 12. Um, so we've got uh, cheerleading embellishments and football embellishments. Um, here's some more cheerleading. Little doodads, three-dimensional brads. We've got a large cross-country section. Here's some more of those pocket pages. So this is one of those cardstock pages, but right next to it, I have one of the pocket pages. And this one has, um, so you got four by six pocket pages at the bottom. And then, I really hope that you're not watching this, Andrea. I want this to be a total surprise. And then you've got these little three by four pocket pages up here that you can slip stuff in. So that's for cross country. And then this one, we do have to turn it. So this was prom pictures. Again, I don't really know anything about, I don't know who else is in the pictures with her. So if she wants to do some journaling and things, she'll have to add that. Kind of goes to graduation. So we've got class of 2020 embellishments. I've got um, the colors for Jessup are orange and blue, so I've got some orange graduation paper, some more of those uh, custom uh, embellishments for Jessup. This is one of our die cuts that Nikki made, uh, Senior Skip Day Champions, class of 2020, with some of her graduation pictures. Here's some more graduation stuff. Pictures with her friends. Trying to coordinate that orange paper um, with the school colors. And then the last page that I have, um, Bailey is going to be going to Wartburg. So um, we have some Wartburg embellishments too. So I added those. But I, like I said, I, this is not a finished um, album. I did just start yesterday. I've got um, more pages here that I can add to it. So it holds quite a bit. It doesn't take that long to do. And I've got more to do. But I thought um, this is not the general albums that you see in the store um, for samples, but it's kind of a quicker one. So I think it makes a nice gift. And there's another idea that I have after I get some gifts done that I have to be doing for some people. So you'll probably see more videos of samples like this in the future. So snap albums, they are on the side of the store over by the uh, cards over where all of our uh, ready-made albums are. And they're really easy and $18.99 and it comes with all those inserts so it's a really good deal and I think you should pick some up. Let us know if you have any questions. 319-377-9999. Remember, shh, this album's a secret.